There it hey, is. Hey, Scotch guy. It is. Oh, Scotch a little little higher. Higher. dummies. A little higher, Plus a whiskey guy. Mike's uh, Hoag says a hearty, guy. warm, good morning from across the pond. Good so morning we've been to watching you, the sir. comments already so far. And uh, Hoagie's been doing the countdown for us. We really appreciate it. Hoagie. John, I think you're probably close to three sheets to the wind. At least you're on your third <laughs> scotch. Good for you. Honestly, I, I kind of ah. was surprised that you had that many. And then I saw what you did tonight, and I'm not blaming you at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, hey, but, whoever's iPad this is, the battery's going to yeah, die. I don't know if so, I don't so Hoagie, it. look what we got. Yes, Hoagie, you this ready? is your stash. It's coming. I think we need to get your address. That's what yeah, you we'll, need, a, we'll need so, it. If you get G, send um, it to our Gmail address, we'll need to send it so to you. But we got quick, bottles for you. Before our comment page dies on us. Alex. Um, oh, we got a charger. Yeah, so we've got... Ah, ahoy, mates. Anyway, Everyone, um, yeah. we already posted our What You yeah, Drinking uh picture to Facebook to kind of get a jump on that so we don't have to try to figure out how to do that when the camera's rolling or anything. So, um, John, I guess you could choose any of those three and put a picture up of what you're drinking. Um, students all day and then parent open house. <laughs> you're a teacher I, too. I, I feel like... Uh, yeah, I can see why he's been drinking. Yeah, yeah I'm not My mom was a teacher for a long time. I could always tell what kind of year she was having by what we were drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um but before we really get into some things uh, after the hellos and whatnot, how everybody's doing, well, I'm sure 17. more people are going to be uh, logging on. Um, we definitely want to call out uh, some of our newer subscribers and patrons and stuff. And, and absolutely, you know, there, there's yeah. uh, there's always new folks coming on. So if uh, if you're out there, if you're tuning in and you've subscribed recently, and we haven't, you know, we're trying to get to all our. We were just talking about before the camera came on, you guys, that comments are starting to get backed up because there's starting to get to be a lot of them. So we're really trying hard to, to keep up on them. But there are some people that just are new to the channel and they go through like 40 or 50 videos and They're comments. Which is awesome. It, it is exciting. awesome because it brings, it makes me watch these old videos again, right? I'm like, oh, I remember that That was years ago. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I I'm wish glad. I still had a bottle of that. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of that. Oh, man. Old Putney 17. We've got an old P on the... Uh, we on do. The you know, That's probably we were, I was just looking that bottle up tonight because um, one of the guys I, I do some side work with, he... Um, his wife buys him a bottle of scotch with the number of years that their marriage is. Wow. So this year is 17. So wow. he's, got, he's looking for a 72-year-old scotch. So we were looking yeah. through a line, and old Pulley uh, came up. 17. Hey, Whiskey Dick. It's only like 90, 85, 90 bucks. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's not too bad for 17. I And so we were looking up the, the tasting notes on it. Tropical fruits with some cinnamon roll and some uh, some herbs on the end. You know, I was like, oh, you bitch, you can try I was uh, thinking Bing Riek 17, but you can't Solstice? Get yeah. That's the first thing I thought of, too. Well, boy. Yeah. That's, I that's, that that's a good one. bottle. Yeah. I missed that bottle. The, the, we, we, the it's like there. a tombstone to it up here. It's, oh, Travis said, go Cubs. We're all about that. Yeah, well, <laughs> Mike's I, all about look what he's this. watching right here. You're watching I, the Cubs? The yeah, game I also have the Cubs game the on. The Cubs game on. <laughs> <laughs> You don't it's like tied. it, he's huh? Got, he's got priorities. Yeah. It's tied. It's right. One one. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What's up? Nothing. The 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 dram hoax drinking is a uh, Glenelachi uh, oh, nine cast strength, and I'm, he's, he doesn't Seven. like it. I'm curious. Hoagie likes That's cast strength. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. He says he I, doesn't like this one. I, I was actually thinking it's only nine years old. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's all, all right. right. But that Glen Flark was seventeen sounds pretty stinking good. I'm down with that. So. Heck yeah. Um. But we're, later. we're uh, not as pleased with the bottle that yeah. we're all drinking. So we're drinking this. We Let's posted it. Let's talk about it. this, you guys. So we posted this review Monday, and it's been a week since we, we, we reviewed it, actually. So tonight's the first time I've had it. Uh, probably over, over a week, really. Over a week that we've had it. And, um, you might have been generous. I think I was generous <laughs> on my review. I, yeah, honestly, so. this is not doing anything for me. I'm just, it's a um, warm-up whiskey at best, to be honest at with you. At best. I think we did talk about that. I think we yeah. um, and a lot of the comments out there, I don't know if you can pull some of those comments sure. up, um, Drew. But Could look it be at, used as a mixer? <laughs> yes. It would probably be there great for go. a mixer. It would be like good like an old-fashioned or something. Yeah. have been talking about. Fire so starter. I can pull them up and share a fire them. starter. Wow. It's I possible. Mean, it's not that bad. So no, it's not actually, that good, um, <laughs> one of the questions that was asked is by uh, Food Quig, another reviewer out there, by the way. Check out his channel. He's part of Whiskey Fabric as well. But he said, I wonder what your reactions would be like if you left this bottle alone on the shelf and came back to it a few months later. Tough for us to do, you guys, if, for those of you that know us. <laughs> <laughs> True. Plus, Bottles do not last. I, I don't know. When, when you oxidize a whiskey, it, 
it doesn't ever get better, in my opinion. Well, ah, some, some people say it, it does. Here's the thing. I think sometimes it does, but it has to have something in it to, to get begin better. with in order yeah. to draw some stuff out. And to me, this whiskey just probably isn't worth sitting on the bar for two months. I think we'll probably just hammer down and call it a day. Hey, Mark, right? how are you doing? <laughs> hammer down. We'll, we'll so fire our way through gonna, this. Maybe we'll put some in, into the uh, the rolling barrel or the rolling bottle. I don't know. You don't want to ruin the rolling bottle? <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking, to be honest with you. So the whiskey, Scott, also kind of made a comment, uh, I think, before uh, Food Quig and said, mine has gotten much better after four months, just checked, and it's 1998-2012 edition. And so maybe, maybe, you know, right. maybe we'll come back to it and just give an opinion later on if it lasts that long. Um, that's really the key if it lasts. I mean, I mean I'm, awesome. be I'm not going to yeah, yeah, be looking so. for it to buy. But a uh, quick uh, note, I was talking about saying hi to some of our new subscribers. The uh, uh, Salt Hire, I guess is that, if I'm pronouncing that right. Man, he's been tearing through the videos, dude. Uh, we're trying to get to respond to some of your comments, but there's a lot of them. So. <laughs> Which is <laughs> great. We'll yeah. get to you. Yeah. We promise. Yeah. But thanks but it's for good to see us. you on, on a live oh, show. Oh, Whiskey Dick's um, on. There we go. Yeah, Whiskey Dick, is he's doing some editing, some post-production editing so he can post what? a What's new that? video. Oh, well, that's um, good. I, I, about that. I have no idea. But, <laughs> so this is, but this is like the, the vintage, the whole thing. Ooh, hey, dog. So this is the whole uh, just, just leave it. The vintage line. They have more vintage lines. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know, guys. If this is vintage, it's not very vintage to me. I don't know. Let me ask the question about the dates on there because someone on the comments made a comment to it. Um, uh, they have a, a tag around the neck of the bottle. It says 15 years old. Great. Okay, that's fine. Um, the sticker on the front says distilled in 1998, and then it says 15 years. Is that what it says? Yeah. Bottled in 2015. Yeah, it's got a 15 year old tag. Right, okay, on. yeah, it says distilled. Age 15 years. Right. And oh, then it, it says distilled master. in 1998, and then it says aged or bottled in 2015. So if it was distilled in 98 and bottled in 15, that means it's sat in a steel cask for that's two right. years. At least, yeah, um, to be 15 years old. But then, when you look at the other dates in the front of a Glenrothes bottle, they'll say um, a little marketing thing. Approved yeah, it says checked. That's it. Distiller in '98, and then approved by that's the malt it. master in '09. Well, if that's the case, it makes this bottle only 11 years old. How Ten can they put old, a yeah. How can they put an age 15 year thing around? So I'm just curious that. to know what your guys' thoughts are because I can't believe that the industry that the Scotch malt uh, the Whiskey Association would allow them to it's put kind of 15 year age yeah. on there if it's not. I, I don't know. If it's only if it's only spent 11 years in an actual cask, cask, yeah, then it's not age 15 years. And by the way, that was Ray Master. He kind of posted that whole point you just made to the the comments. Exact same thing. So Glen Rothes is as dreary as the town itself. And this bottle. Well, yeah. no, yeah, there, we've had other Glen Rothes that weren't nearly like this. So it is kind of it, you got to find the right expression. Yeah, I mean, there's some that are all right. I, you know, my comment was that I never feel bad about buying a bottle of it because they're usually very reasonably priced. So I mean, you can get in the in the liquor store and for fifty bucks. You can pick up a bottle and try it out. And, you know, most of the ones that we picked up have been at least decent. Yeah. You know, the other one we you have know? behind here, the peated version, I actually enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah we, I'm wearing a poor uh, glass We've had a few right others here. that, you know, are, right. are, are, were actually pretty good. But this particular one. I think there's a bourbon which, barrel one. That yeah. I, I, I mean, they usually do pretty good. And I was kind of excited about this one. And, you know, it kind of yeah. fell flat. It yeah, just really wasn't very good at all. I don't know what kind of barrel they put really it good. in. Like old wash tub? I don't think. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pour it next. Well, well, maybe I'm later. Next. I'm going to pour it in a barrel. barrel. They, barrel. they pour it in an old tire. <laughs> so what, one of the uh, commenters said, yeah, if, if it's got sulfur, he's extra sensitive to sulfur, then he's not going to like this. And, yeah, right? it's got it may not be for you. I, I agree that it, there's some sulfur in there. I think leaving it sit here is helping it. And I remember making that comment towards the end of the review that because you had made a point of that out. And I said, yeah, I'm you know starting what? to get some, some fruit. As, in as it airs on the, on the glass, it does help a little bit. But airing out in the glass is different than sitting on a shelf in a cold Checked bottle. after some years that everything goes, what? According to plan, not approved for immediate bottling. Okay. Well, he's, I think he's asking the question... He's saying apparently means I see. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm. I'm sure they taste. I don't know how often they taste each cask, and are you know, do you do know. they sample every cask once a year, or do they have a a timing to do that? I feel hmm. like I would totally go through and sample well, everything right, once a year. Well, right? What's What's the front of this bottle say as far as that sticker? Oh, with all, so this, let's, with let's all that out. information. Let's compare. So the this two. is the Glenrothes Vintage Single Malt, the peated cask reserve. 
This one does it has an approved, but no date. Um, there's no dates on this at all. Well, that doesn't help. Okay, so the comparison is not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. One of our plans fell through. <laughs> now, see, look at that one, though. Travis said that uh, no oh, Whiskey Exchange just released a single sherry cast 20-year-old Glenrothes um, at 51.3%. Ooh. And, and now, see, that that spurs my interest, yes. right? Yeah. Um, so this <clears throat> Pita cask has no they're... ages on it at all. No dates, nothing. And it's 40% ABV. So they see this was forty three percent. I just forty percent for it for repeated. Yeah, hmm. that's gonna be young. Yeah, young. it tasted all right though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, don't, I don't remember it. Jonathan, it hasn't yeah, happened yet. We'll get to that later on in the show. Oh, it's coming. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's a coming. couple weeks away. So he was talking about the expo. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay. We're gonna finish talking about this Glenrothes yeah. this bottle because I mean I'm so one I'm really trying to choke this down. Five, you guys. I think 1. was 6, our in the uh, review on that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe All it's right. a little generous. Maybe that. it could be a one point something, one point one. If we, if everybody went down a half a point or something on it, based on our second second tasting and more experience with it. I think honestly, it's been like you said, it's been a week or so since we've had it, and I would still probably stick to my guns on what I said in the review. I mean, it's right. It's it's average at best. It's a great starter. I mean, I it's not like. It's pleasing at all. It's not like oh my gosh, pour it out. But I mean, it's I just don't just enjoy nothing, it at all. There's nothing a whole lot going on with it. I mean, it's very basic. Nah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that, that's been nice. I, I, it's getting worse for me. Um, but it's it's a review. It's done, and and you know we we, we gave it a shot. Now on to, I mean we're gonna drink it, right? We'll we'll use it for something. Oh, like wait. Mike says, we'll we'll mix it or something. We'll do something with it. I've not tried a log of one yet. What? I'm thinking about getting a bottle next recommendation. So let me, that's a great point because I was going to bring this up in front of everybody. But I updated our spreadsheet on our website. I don't know if you guys ever go to our actual website and check that out. But, um, but Drew will pull it up for you guys here. So we've got all of our reviews in a spreadsheet that you can kind of just go through and see what each of us have uh, rated uh, our reviews over the past two it's years. It's kind of handy. I, I get oh, behind yeah. on it every now and again, and I spend some time. I get it. It's update as today. It's, it's good to go. But guess what I noticed in updating it tonight? We have never reviewed Log of Woolen 16 by itself. No. We haven't. Uh-uh. We did Log of Woolen 8. We've done Log of Woolen 18. And we did Log of Woolen 16 comparatively right. against... Some other How ones, we've not but done we've that. never done it by its standalone review. I just cracked a bottle of that this week, and that's what I was thinking. How I many bottles of that have we gone right through? Now, it's going to be like as close to four as possible. I know there are two bottles it. within walking distance Actually, it's of not. this house. You'd be surprised. I know, but not at this house. <laughs> so, real quickly, guys, I have the uh, rating spreadsheet up. It's uh, on our website. Oh, it's also <laughs> mobile friendly. So, if you go on your phone, if you're in a liquor store, yeah. and you're asking what, what did the guys rate it, you can pull this up. The nice thing about it is it's, it's in alphabetical order. You can sort it, you can print it, you can PDF it. It's got a search, so as you type in, as you saw me a minute ago, for I did Logavolin. As soon as you start typing, it automatically filters as well. So it's a great little Sweet. tool for mobility. So what, if what, you're, um, what do we give the, the other gun Oh, uh, That's a good question. Hold well on. So we did the so 1.63 hmm. on this one, the like 225 some, uh, on the 2001. I had this and then the Sherry Cast, we did 188. So we didn't review this one yet. It does not look like it. We haven't reviewed the peated? Uh oh. Oh, we just keep drinking it. Well, I guess we never did that one too. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta put that on the list. Maybe I missed it on the on the on the um when I updated the spreadsheet. I swear we did this one. I gotta be honest, when I go into YouTube uh, and sort the, the videos. No, I'm not, I I sort the videos by <laughs> new it, it doesn't seem to sort very well. But anyway, everybody's given some suggestions to this uh saltire and on a log of one. What do you guys say? Honestly I don't think you can go wrong with any one of them if you can I mean there's We've only had the one that we didn't necessarily care for. Which one was that? The 25. The long one? Wasn't it? No, oh, that? no, that's uh, that's Oh, Talisker. Uh, Talisker. Yeah. yeah. But no? Lagavulin's been a hit every one of them. Yeah, yeah I can't think of any of you're thinking of was the, the, um, the Slet Cask, I think. Yeah, that was, that that was, was a miss. Was a, that was right. a miss. But Lagavulin's everything yeah. so far. They're all the good. Race. The 8, the 16, the Stiller's Edition. The Distillers Edition, it's which was our very first review. Yeah. I, yeah. No, which, that was a Talisker Distillers. Talisker yeah. was the first one. But so, 
I, I don't We're think a hot mess a, in that. Yeah, I don't I think there's a bad log of one that we've had. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, honestly, the easiest one for you to get is probably the log of 116, right? Yeah. And, and here's yeah, a tip for you, depending on where you're at, the, the price is, is crazy different. Crazy Wildly different. different. Yeah. Yes, I mean. So John wants a more 15. Uh, who doesn't? I, I don't know. Do. I, I like them all. I, actually, I want to get another bottle of that uh, Log of One Eight. So I'm going to I'm going to call I'm going to wear call your robe on more John Devo out because that <laughs> that, that, that Bullmore that, that Bullmore Fifteen Darkest. So John was thinking that that's going to be his next bottle. That's a syrupy, smoky beauty, it's all good. in its own. It's it's good. It's a good bottle. That was that was the first scotch that I ever drank that was like. Is it your bar wow. too? I think we can do it again. <laughs> yeah, that was a great bottle. What is it? it? Bullmore Fifteen Darkest. Ooh, six is in the house. So I got to say Lagavulin and 16, for, for, but Andrew's getting the question. Which one do you like better, Log 6 or Yugadale? All right, so I just I just cracked a bottle of Lagavulin 16 this week because I hadn't had it in a while. And and it was it's good, but it, it is not as deep deep as the Yugadale. That's exactly the right term. That it, it, It's good. It's, hey, it, it touches... Um, the Log Balloon 16 touches a lot of flavor profile. It does have some sweetness. It has some some of that earthy, earthy smoke, notes. peat. Um, but the Oogadale is like... Mm. Hey, how you doing? It's, it's, it's yeah. a punch in the gut. Hey, well, welcome to too. smoke. Welcome yeah. to peat, and that's what you're talking. So depending on what you're interested in, if you want a little sweetness to it, the Log Balloon 16 is a outstanding bottle. If you, if you now, can take... Somebody commented, I want to say on this Glen Rothis review, the last comment on that Glen Rothis review was commented to you, and so this one's for Andrew, and it was telling, giving you an advice to go try the, the latest uh, oh, Ardbeg. Oh, yeah. Which OA? one is it? The OA, yeah. 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 Um, supposedly that one's supposed to be the best of my... I mean, yeah. I'm hoping so, to try it at the whiskey. I just, so, I, I'm pretty sure we uh, will. I just yeah. saw... Um, uh, I'm crushing Roy, Lagavulin 16 uh, right uh, now. Aquavite <laughs> was not impressed. He was not impressed? No. With, no? He, he actually talked about... He, he sent a, sent a, a matrix of, um, you know, one of these is shite. <laughs> uh -oh. And I think... It was the art bag that was not. It was the art bag. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that's the, the art. Yeah, made. it's 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 the on o on oa or whatever. I don't know what on it is. On he said it was bad. Yeah. He said it was not. That's the one Do you guys not... normally like the art bag? Yeah, I love art bag. Is great. Now mm -hmm. I'll I'll give you my two cents on that one. I think I'm obviously getting into the the peat and the Isla stuff, but um, I had the same thing with we both got 16s uh, a few weeks ago, and I cracked up mine as well this week and. Boy, was it delicious. My gosh, it would just hit the spot greatly. It's warm. The Oogadale, I will say, I will agree with you. I think it is. It's, it's deeper into the, the darkness of peat. Yeah, I mean, so if, if you think about what a it smoky, is sure. dirty, peat, extreme. earthy, that's what Oogadale yeah. is. But well, that, it's a, that, that is a very unique thing for me. The, the Log 16, is Laura, that's, a great, that's a great, sweet, beautiful isla for me. I love it. Well... I, when I think about Ugadale, I think of the first time we cracked open a bottle down here. Yep. And it was... Too much. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to say it was too much, but it was... Like the original, yeah. It was way yeah. more than we were expecting. Yeah. And then we cracked the and bottle open, and we're right. like, holy cow. <laughs> we'll never drink you know, this. And, and so then we're like, ah, I can't, it can't taste like it smells, right? No, it totally tastes like it smells. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then you come to appreciate that, and it's it's really great. And but, you look I mean, forward it is, to it, right? It is a good. powerful scotch. I mean, it's you've got to really... Yeah. It's great over oysters. It is great over oysters. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to trying some of those. I mean, actually, we've got a couple bottles that uh, Telex sent us that we haven't tried yet. We haven't even cracked them, Telex. Oh, he, um, oh, by the way, he can't make it tonight. He's got a stomach flu. Okay. Well, that's well, all right. We're going to see him in two weeks for the Whiskey yeah, Expo. And I'm sure we're going to get into some of the Ardbegs that we haven't tried there. Um, the and the, the guy that uh, that shows up yeah, for Ardbegs, he Kelpie actually runs. is a Glen Morangy. Well, he's, he's a dual arm, ambassador. Right. He, he's yeah. an ambassador for both. He's um, he knows he, he's stuff. an he's interesting guy, fun guy. Knows yeah. Guy. And hopefully we'll have him on the show. Um, I guess it's a good point to talk about the whiskey expo now more than anything, especially yeah. since now that we've got Rob um is here. I'm, I'm going to be in touch with you probably okay. in the next day or two, Rob. Mm -hmm. Speaking stri nope. strictly to you Almost, about the whiskey right. expo. Um, for those of you guys who don't know about it, uh, it's the 13th of October. See the new one coming out. They'll be working so, it, um, two weeks from tomorrow. We're planning a four-hour show. See the new um, one coming out. Yeah. Join us when you can for what you can. Hopefully, we're uh, we've got some ambassadors lined up for some interviews. 
Um, we're gonna do some blind taste uh, tastings with some of the other whiskey goers. Yep. Some of the people that are get on our channel and watch and subscribe and are check, playing on the the live stream uh, will be there. I know Telex is coming. Yep. Um, what else is going on about the whiskey expo? Looking forward to it. It's It'll be, be interesting. Time. We've yeah. got some good stuff. Uh, we we actually saw a, a rundown of. The yeah, distilleries. Yeah, I was going to see if you could pull up Vine and Table's website sure. and, and throw that in front of everybody uh, so they can see the uh, the list of the distilleries. So is that public I think yet? it was, what, 80 to 100? Yeah, it's public. Uh, 80 um, to 100 different distilleries. distilleries and yeah, they, each yeah, distillery we, usually brings two, three, four different expressions from their distillery. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's a ton of shoot, stuff. Shoot, Dalmore bought like eight that yeah. way, six or eight. I yeah. mean, they had a ton. So, I mean, it, it's a <clears> lot. There's no way you're going to drink everything. You no. just can't. Um, you really have to go through the, uh, the book one, ahead one of time. One of them I want to hit, the Corsair out of Nashville, Tennessee. They're going to be there? I'm a big fan of Corsair, yeah. All right, I got it up here. Let me pull up the they got some cool stuff. You, uh, you got to go through the pamphlet, and, and you've got to do your homework and map out what you're going to do, who you're going to sample, mm -hmm. because otherwise... You're just going to be a hot mess, and they're going to be, you know, throwing you an Uber. Whiskey Dick night. said he'd be on. Oh. Are you showing it? So we got. Uh, ninth oh annual, yes, yeah, ninth absolutely, annual. absolutely. Yeah. I will get a hold hey, of you. Let's talk about this. So ninth annual Indies Whiskey and Fine uh, Spirits Expo, uh, yeah, October thirteenth, twenty seventeen, five to nine. I don't know. So this is the site you can get information from. The VIP tickets are one fifty, uh, general admission eighty, and des uh, designated driver ticket. And then here is the actual list of. Distilleries coming, labels, if you will. Art bag, it's, I mean everything. It's a nice. It, last year Maybe we went. It's professionally around. done. West they have India. decent food there to cleanse yep. palates. They had some different cigars to try. They had bourbons. They had gins. They had scotches. I mean, it's a lot of whiskey though. It's mostly uh, whiskeys. Yeah. Um, Gordon McPhail. But they're gonna have some. Uh, uh, yeah, Japanese whiskeys. Yes. They've yeah, got there's some interesting some Japanese stuff coming from over. Japan. Uh, so I mean, it's it's going to be a, a good night. We're going to have a good time. So just do a search for uh, Vine and Table Whiskey Expo 2017. You'll find all all the right. information online. So. Trying to catch Rhode up Island New England Whiskey Festival. Ooh, road trip. A, sounds <laughs> fun. I'm down with yeah, that. That's good stuff. Um. So let me let me change the topic here uh, and, and talk about Scotch in the news. I don't know if you guys yep. like this little segment, right? I kind of have I fun too. researching for this just to talk to you guys about Scotch in the news. Scotch in the news. I guess you guys talked about this one last week when I was out. Uh, I wasn't able. Where I, I was up in the North Woods of Wisconsin. There was there really no. Up there's no internet up there. Power okay. up there. I mean, at least I couldn't get internet. <laughs> anyway. But I wanted to talk about this since I wasn't hearing you guys talk about it. But I don't know if you all heard about the big theft in New Jersey, the Scotch theft, right? So these two kids. So they still haven't caught it. these people, no. right? It's like six of them. Oh, is yeah, it? He yeah, showed, he showed, he showed it all the screen. Now. As you talk, I'm trying to. Okay, so yeah. these 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 cats break into this liquor store, and they obviously know what they're doing because they target three bottles. They target. Do they like, know what they're doing, or do they just see the price tag and say, "I'm going to"? Do you steal break that. into a place and take the time to look at a price tag, or you just grab your stuff and roll? I don't know. It might be a common well, I mean, it's a crab liquor legs. store. I, I like crab legs. A common <laughs> liquor store is not just going to have a 1952 Tullerdean. A Highland Park 50 and a McKellen VF uh, V5 reflection. It's, it's not going to happen. Those three bottles valued 52 grand. Okay. 52 grand. 52,000. But what really cracks me up is on their way out the door, one of them decides to grab a bottle of pinch scotch, which is like 12 <laughs> bucks a pop. Hey, they got to pour out a little for their homies. <laughs> <laughs> $52,000 of scotch and on your way out you're like oh I gotta have this that's just the wound right there yeah. that's crazy oh shit oh my gosh so I, I'm that's curious what you want to grab some night train or something I know <laughs> is that stuff gonna show up on the market the in the second hand they had to have something to drink, drink themselves when they were out trying to hawk that stuff I tell you what if we were the ones that broke into it we'd be drinking it it would already be gone I don't even know what you're talking about the problem is we'd get caught because we'd publish the review of it we have no idea Models. Can't wait to uh, share this 1952 Tullamardine with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no reviews on this bottle. Oh my gosh, Cato said he was in Total Wine last week and there wasn't anything worth stealing. <laughs> they, already got, they already got the three that were worth anything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got, Mark? Um, else? So I got another story. Uh, interesting about Glenn Fittick has got. They just released the news that, that they're coming out with a new bottle. It's going to be a specialty bottle called uh, Winter Storm. 
Um, it's going to be finished in ice wine casks, and it's going for. They're going to have 650 cases produced, no more. The uh, it's a one-time is run. Awesome looking. It's a $250 bottle oh, is what they're suggesting it'll retail, and I think it's supposed to be available sure. soon. So do you know what? Um, I wonder if we'll be able to taste is? that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I Okay. Yeah, so let's explain it. Let's explain it. Yeah, so ice wine is a style of sweet wine that has been produced from grapes that have been frozen while still on the vine. Right. So, so they get really condensed, really syrupy sweet. It's thick and heavy. It's and sweet. exactly what you guys don't like. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so I don't know why you guys are excited yeah. about that. Because the bottle looks badass. The bottle does look very cool. Because when you think it's white, when you, you think it, it looks like rum chata. Winter it's called turns. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like a rum chata oh, bottle. I didn't mind, you and I didn't mind the sauternes. I, I like sauternes. What was so that one we had? I don't like sauternes. We, we've had um, two. Uh, we had... Uh, well, I can't remember the now. It was a sauternes cast. I, I actually didn't two. mind it. Yeah, uh, the two different ones. Anyway. Oh, so, yeah. so what is that coming <laughs> in for sauternes? Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually January. out. Yeah, in, in the very near future. So it's already future. out. Yeah, okay. Is it, is John DeVoe has the right idea. No. $250 right. bottle, F that. <laughs> I'm with you, man. You tell 43 percent ABV, so I mean, what the heck? I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. 650 one cases, though, so that's what. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna uh, ask some people about it though in my line of work and see what's what. See yeah, see, see if so, you can't get somebody to throw a bottle on it. Or if one of you guys happen to buy it, send us a sample of it, and we'll do it that way too. Or yeah, at least throw it. something in the comments. You know, uh, who's let share, us know what it's it worth. It. Anybody in the fabric, anyway, so we know what's going on with it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Does that have an age statement? I don't. 20, 21 year old yeah, scotch. Yes, yes. Finished for six months in those ice wine barrels. Yeah, so it's a it's a Glenfiddich it's 21. Old. It's old. I don't know if you get much out of it in six months. Well, but all you all you pull it is the sweetness See, out of the bottle. Seems like yeah. a marketing stunt to me. You think it might be? Right? Sure. The last story that uh, there's cool two more stories, now. but the last one that's really that. of, of any substance is uh, I, I read a story about a, a new distillery opening up in Spaceside in 2019. Brand new, they're in for, you know they're in construction right now. He's got it up called there. the Cabrac, I guess is how you would Cabrac say. Cabrac Trust, sure. Um, right next to the plot we're buying. I, I Dang, yeah, yeah, right. Can, we, can cool. we buy in it? No. Uh, I mean, so here's the thing: brand new distillery. It's going to be you know they don't have anything going. So how long is it going to be? At least three years. So we're not going to see anything from these guys until 22. Well, here's a map where it's going to be. That's cool. Um, but it's yeah. pretty cool to think that there's still room for a new distiller to go up in space side. Really? With as hot as Scotch is right now? <laughs> yeah. Wow, so it's not far from Oh, John, that was the other one we had. The neck of door. Yeah, we did that. I was the only one who liked that yes, one. Yes, you are. Yeah. What was it called? The neck the, the no, tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. Those sweet ones. So that's interesting. I mean, that's uh, basically what you're saying is, hey, let's uh, throw another space side distillery in the mix and see what we can do with it. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I'm curious to see, you know, how they mm -hmm. do, it, considering so, the vast amount of distilleries are in that small area anyway. So they're going to start distilling in 19, or they're yeah, distilling they're, oh, now? No, they're the building's not done. It's not. Oh. The construction's not finished. That doesn't mean they don't have a. Anything going I'll be out back firing it uh, up. If you read that story, it basically <laughs> says they're going to be using traditional methods. Everything will be sourced locally. Uh, they're probably going to be, you know, their own. It's a, um, it's a craft distiller. Right, a craft distiller. Here we are at that now, huh? So they what, have um, to have Yeah, those are popular in the United States, now. too. Craft distillers yeah. are blowing up all over. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even the Indianapolis area, there's lots of cra there are a couple of craft distillers oh, that, are, that are starting. It's, it's all uh, ex pharmaceutical engineers that get tired of uh, yeah, working for a certain company. Exactly. Because you Wish know how many of them hit me up to buy their stuff every week? Oh, really? Craft oh, distillers? Oh, yeah. I get hit what is a broken own. beaker? It's kind of yeah. like breaking bad uh, beer. Well, <laughs> right. Breaking beer. Uh, what's so the what's other one that's, on that's new? Like, so yeah. didn't, um, didn't, on um, distillery wise, as far as new distillery, didn't we see something not too long ago about Isla having another new distillery that we just said a minute ago? Okay. No, there is a new one opening on Isla soon. Um, Google that. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Oh, I we actually we had, talked what, about it, I thought. Yeah, I thought I, I I thought I pulled that one up not too long ago. One thing so. we did get, um, there was a message on Facebook from, from one of the guys that asked. Sounds like they, they wa want to do a wolf burn. Yeah, that's the, true. They want to get a poster-sized map of Scotland. Oh, yeah, here it is. And wondered if we had suggestions. You know, this one is great, but I know you've got one as well. Yeah, so it, he's online, by the way. So thank you. Do you know what? Yeah, you, I posted you, it on there. I posted oh, the did. website okay. where I got my map. 
Um, there's a couple of different ones that are out there that we've we've actually got our hands on. One that are hanging on our walls that uh, that are really handy. Um, yeah, it shows all the distilleries in the location, whether they're active or not, and those kind of things. Yeah. And that's I, I love that. I mean, I, the bad thing about the ones that this are inactive, maps, Sean sits there and stares at the map. He's like, "Here's one we could buy." As I had this one pulled up, and nobody gets their wallet out. out. I don't even yeah, understand. Yeah, so Arsley Arsley Ho Distillery started. They're going to start in 2017. That's another Isla. Mm. So wait, big. Whiskey Dick's got a plan here. I mean, I might, might we will all be big enough so champs to get. Look <laughs> it. uh, that's uh, wishful <laughs> thinking, Whiskey Dick. I hope that's the truth. I, I hope they have to come through us to get to the get to the crowd, man. Oh, wow, that'd be awesome. Right, Jim says Kirkwood is his favorite space side. Oh um, really? We got to break into some more of that. So Port Port We like the one we did. It was good, man. Where Coal Isla is on Port Escape and Bunahaben is right there as well. They're right across the the straight um, to the Isle of Jura on Arden, um, that Ardno distillery that he was So is this dying or what? Yeah, I'm leaving it for him. It's his last drink. Who? Me. Well, well I mean, it's probably you, not my last drink. What are you drinking now? It's last bottle. So uh, that uh, heated. Well, throw right me there. something. Uh, <laughs> get that man some old force. You know what? It's, it's half past. we got to do our trivia. Oh, wait. Oh. But, but nobody from that channel's here. I really wanted to wait till at least Scott was here. Not, let me text him and get him on here. Yeah, well, we got a good That's trivia. Now we just we skip there. Yeah. Good, good trivia question. Take a little no, no, you don't, you don't no, 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 we haven't reviewed that yet. I'm well, dude, there. I don't know what you're up to. We got some bourbons over here. We got oh. There's some triple sec. You want a glass of that? Give me some of that Freud PX. Got some grenadine. Have we reviewed that? Some lime. Yeah. Yeah. Some lime. Some grenadine and some lime. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. This is a full service bar, man. We got dry and sweet vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze the B. Squeeze, Squeeze the B. Craigalaki. Craigalaki. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's trying to correct my, my, my yeah. butchering pronunciation. Yeah. Wait till the Halloween oh, episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys. I, cool? I hope you all are working on your Halloween costumes. I know we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no we idea. Got one. Coming we're, up every year we we're, do it. We're trying to trying to work through it. It's, I got oh, no. I got some work to do. Heck, my wife is at home right now working on her costume. This body in a morph suit. We tried that one year. Yeah, he did. He did. We probably shouldn't do it again. That, that would have <laughs> been an excellent Scotch for Dummies episode that year. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I still have it. I think because they don't come with a third layer. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> Mine does. <laughs> <laughs> wheels are starting that, to come that's off. That's how much you yeah. Like. yeah, I'll tell you uh, what, Speaking man. of wheels, uh, we haven't talked to Lee in a long time. Wheels. Mm -hmm. Lee on tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark is. Lee, Mark, okay, cool. Yeah, Mark is on. Somebody said wheelhouse. Was on earlier. She wheelhouse. Said, Somebody said wheelhouse. I just drank. Oh, yeah? I got something. There you go. Oh, Sean doesn't even turn around. <laughs> I'm all it was good, a man. long day. How many people did you fire today, Sean? Say Craig Alaki, like trying to clear uh, it. Craig <laughs> Actually, I didn't fire anybody today, believe it or That's not. That's good. And you had one cool cat come back to say hi. Yeah, yeah. I had a uh, an ex-employee that went off, joined the Army, and made it through basic and came back to oh, say hi. Scott's Looks good. Here. There he is. All right, now we Watch can do Watch football. Our, uh, now right, we can do for you. All right, so we have a, uh, a trivia question tonight. Everybody, it's open to everybody except for the Scotch yeah, test. Yeah, Scott, dummies. you can't do Scott, it. Scott, you're not allowed to answer and this. And if you've so. answered... Pause just a few seconds to so, see if anybody guesses. To all you uh, Scotch heads out there watching, what other YouTube channel features Bart from the Scotch Test Dummies? And it can't be Scotch Test Dummies. <laughs> and I, it's in the video, so you can see it as well. I posted it in here as well, so you can double check the. Uh, He's cursing you right now. He is even bringing that. What? Are you kidding? We can each dress as see. I'm sure Scott's a going. Scotch bottle why from are each you region? What? That'd be awesome. Would be good. Why are you promoting Bart, damn it? <laughs> Dad, Scott, this guy's like, damn. Uh, uh, that was funny. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll give that some thought. Here. Yeah, we gotta give you, and, and, and a couple give minutes, I, I have give a hand. Give some soap The time. Simpsons. Wow. <laughs> I actually had fun doing oh. a little research on that one. So. Lee. Guys, Lee. Oh, awesome, Lee. Lee. Need a suggestion. Good Just for you. accept a job offer how, and need a special bottle. How special celebrate. a bottle do you need? How about the Glenfiddich 21? Did you accept a job store? offer in India? <laughs> no. What's the job? Don't mm -hmm. encourage him. 
bonding with board oh, games. <laughs> Some board game thing. Don't well, encourage they're, him. They're, they're, the people are like zeroing in here. So, <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you. But so, um, is that not the answer? No. Oh. Get close. Yeah. Three hundred. I, I want to give three hundred dollars. I want to give a shout out to for my what? buddy Rob. Oh, uh, he works with me. Thanks for joining tonight, Rob. Good right on. Oh, is that okay, Milanovic? Yep. Nice man. <laughs> three hundred or under. Three hundred. Oh, we just talked about the winter storm. So yeah. No. 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 So tell me, what, what's the what's the job, Lee? Well, what, what's the gig uh, here that you're getting? And oh, and man. that's awful. What's your favorite region? Hmm. Glen going twenty five. Kentucky. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's the winner right there. Glen going twenty five. You can get Glen going twenty five for two hundred fifty dollars. We just yeah, I'm gonna that bottle a, right now. If, if I bottle. see a bottle of that somewhere, I'm probably going to see. Buy wait, it. Scott says that's right. Bonding with board games. Should I, I found heart. another <laughs> channel, Scott? Now I'm confused. Okay, then. All right, so Highland so Park says, 25. That's another if good Scott one. Scott says it's right. Then I, I can't dis- dispute that. But there's another channel that he must moonlight on then, because I know of another one that uh, he goes by the name the Chief. <laughs> the Chief. Really? Don't laugh at him, man. <laughs> I All love right, it. Scott, so you got to start talking about so, the chief next to you. That's so do case. you know that, Scott? Am I, am I you know, pulling this out of nowhere? The chief, really? Yes. It's a board game reviews with the chief, and it's on a different channel. Um, if you guys could Google it. I imagine it. it'd be on a different channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Ravi just made a good point. I mean, the Glen Going 25 is amazing, but if you want to get our perfect one so far... Lee, if you've not had the King Alexander, yeah, it's a four, is, four, four for us. It it's amazing. Yep. So wait a minute. Who was the first one that said bonding with board games? That was, um, that's crazy. That's crazy. crazy. Now, has he won yet before? I think that's crazy. He's probably won like several times. We'll see, the though. So, Squeeze the B. Um, <coughs> I actually found... I, I, I know by their, their mailing addresses. I don't necessarily that's know. That's crazy. If you've won before, we're going to so, give it to Rob. If you... If you haven't mm. won yet, you I found him on the us. Dice Tower was the channel that I found his reviews. I watched two or three different reviews from Bart, uh, uh, a.k.a. the Chief, on the Dice Tower. So, In a row? I, <laughs> Damn right. Late <laughs> at night. But, kind of, oh, <laughs> it's kind of shady. Uh, El Jefe. El Jefe. But anyway, so that's crazy. Bonding with board games. All you guys want to go check out Bart on in his uh, alter ego, the Chief, and, and get some good reviews. So on some Bart that's board crazy. Games. And Rob, send right. us. He does uh, those reviews right after his Scotch reviews. So <laughs> actually, he's doing this it's quick history style. Fun. That's crazy. He's doing both thing. of them. So. Yeah. So that's crazy. You're, yeah, you're Rob. Crazy. S- send us your uh, mailing address. To Scotch Four Dummies, Scotch Number Four Dummies at gmail.com. Easy enough. And then we will, I will get stuff out to you. Yeah, by week. we we mean Andrew. Yeah, <laughs> that's Andrew. He, he's got. It. He's shipping. awesome at it. He's the tech. I'm the shipping department. <laughs> that's, that's how it works. If there was one bottle <laughs> I would not buy, it'd be King Alexander. But I, that's me. Hoagie. I would. You're I banned. Think the, I oh. think that Glen Goyne is probably. I uh, think I would go with the Goyne. What was the point that somebody made about the Glen Goyne? Somebody's playing. What, what's wrong pretty about damn it? good. There's nothing bad about it. Right. Uh, older Glenn Dronick. Yeah, that'd be... Yeah, the, the 15 Revival, if you can find it, too. I mean, that's... Well, it's, it's not that's, as good as the 25. That's a I, I would think the 25 is better, personally. The 25 is just so much better yeah. balance. And I don't think Scott... Scott, I don't think you said you had the 25 yet. If not, I know you're a big fan of Revival. If you've not had wow. the 25, you've got to. It's so much better. John pulls a slap shot I know, reference man. out. How that awesome is, is incredible, that? That is incredible, man. Cheers to you, John. I love that. <laughs> Nobody reference. watches House. that movie, right? Yeah, Have you yeah. ever seen that movie? No. It's a hockey movie? Yeah. It's hockey movie. Yeah. Putting on the foil. Who pays attention to hockey movie? <laughs> so <laughs> new, I think. It's it so, is. Rob, I will say this, too. I know Rob also knew the answer because he's also a board game reviewer. Oh my gosh. Oh, is he really? So, so funny thing a, is, he works with me. I, I, I talked to him that's uh, crazy. A, a few weeks ago, whatever, and uh, we were talking. And he's like, Yeah, I know Bart from the test dummy. He's a Scotch I mean, I'm like, You're kidding, right? I know Bart. And so they, no, they had a relationship. Crazy. And so, small world. Bart's been at it for a while on that. So, I don't know. Just something fun to try to mix in some extra humor with, uh, with the test dummies. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Good question. So, um, hopefully, Lee, you've gotten the information you need. There's lots of. Re- Comments coming through of suggestions. The gun going twenty five is good. King Alexander is good. 
Some so what's, what's the Glenn going stuff. 25 on Wix to exchange going for? Uh, About 250. It's up there, but I'm not sure. It's in the 250 range. So okay. when I was up in uh, Vinny's up in Chicago, they had I think I sent you guys a 20 year Glenn going I think or something like that, and it was like it was like 200 bucks. So uh, 180. So yeah. Did they, have, they, have, did they right. have a case like a case like I took a picture no, and showed they had you? Case up in Lake Zurich. That was a nice case. Benny's in Lake Zurich, oh, man. They've got I went to, obviously I went to the wrong one. They just opened, so that poor uh, dog's having a nightmare in the other room here. I know. Should be all right. <laughs> Molly, she's waiting for salsa. She is waiting Molly. for salsa. I'm so waiting salsa for salsa. Nice. Oh yeah. Well, Mark oh. and I are having salsa. Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> so uh, I, you're, you're that's mean. about the the extent of the agenda for that I had pulled together. Well, well I got one sure. more thing to talk so about. So you got one or two, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. So, uh, cool information. So if you haven't uh, seen yet in our description, we're going to put it in there now, and I just put it on the screen right now. Our oh, glasses, yeah, yeah. they can't see it, but our glasses no. uh, right now, I, I got the, the website boys. up. If, if you look at our description going forward, there's a link in there, especially for our tailored milestone uh, glasses, and you see it here on the webpage. Um, basically, it's for 20%. So all you got to do is, is enter your email address. It's these glasses. These glasses it's, right here. They have other styles as well. The big boys. Are, yeah. But basically, um, enter your email address in there, and you'll get 20% off these glasses. So uh, we're working with them as well. Yeah. We, we've got some special things coming up in the future with them. We've, we're going to give away some glass sets as well. So right stay on. tuned with us. I'm not sure when we're going to do that, but uh, we got to figure out our, our agenda for yeah. that voice. Yeah. But are they going to be engraved with our faces or something? Maybe. I feel like Maybe that's awesome. I don't know. Right. Things are, I'd say for the next two weeks, we, you know, we got to focus down. we got a lot of things on, going on, guys. On the expo. we, we got a lot of stuff coming that's up. That's heads down. That's what our number yep. one priority is going to be for the next two weeks. Um, and we still have a ton of reviews to do. And we still have a lot of scotch set. I mean, I'm going to start eating uh, bread right now. Just to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll down. tell you like what. Training. What did I tell him? To Four do? hours of drinking like that. You gotta be ready, man. Oh, you can't yeah. go in just half ass. <laughs> just you gotta talk. Scott right? Mark pulled it off for twelve, man. We can do this. You gotta carb up. <laughs> so I'm telling you right Lee's now. Lee's gonna get the king or the gun going. She says. We uh, good good call. No. We we hit it hard. Yeah, last year we did hit it pretty hard. I but you didn't. Tight. You weren't talking. You weren't right. So, live so it's gonna be hard. So, well, it. the, this year we'll probably just be sitting in one place drinking a lot more. <laughs> oh, Lee, Lee caught Lee caught the New Orleans shirt and the hat. Yeah, cigar factory out of New Orleans, which I think we're planning on going out into the back porch after the show cuts I think off we're and right. sparking a stogie. As a matter of fact, with salsa. What'd you bring us? I think I brought some stogies. Let's see what I did bring. I don't know. Not not any from New Orleans, right? No, I brought. Do I have uh, any more of those left over there with New Orleans? Not that you know of. Yeah, <laughs> I got seven. I, I brought seven stogies. We're in there good go. shape. We, yeah, we got enough. To I got a whole box on. upstairs too. Yeah. So Rob uh, was talking today. He's he's a bourbon guy. It's like it's like this guy okay. over here, right? He's getting the scotch. And I, so I like suggested him. Monkey Shoulder. I think he liked it. Um, but I also suggested today the. Um, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, I, I suggested the Balvini Fifteen Double Wood as a nice mm. entry level into the from the bourbon, and he says he liked it so far. I think it's a pretty good entry level from a bourbon lover. Did you did you have the fifteen? It's sweet. It's not heavy. I mean, it's wooded. You get a lot of that wood which you get in bourbons. But yeah, yeah, it's that's a nice. Yeah, I think that's a fine suggestion. I don't think that's a far stretch. Well, these, I mean, they're, they're you're not they're pushing them over the cliff, so good. right? No, no, but it's got I mean, very bur bourbon esque tones to it. Mm -hmm. I think. You know yeah. what's funny? I had a uh, a long conversation with a whiskey distributor today, and uh, over a bunch of compass boxes. <coughs> not that I hadn't had them, just that if you're pouring, I'm going to drink them. Yep. Uh, <laughs> really? You? I mean, why, why wouldn't you, right? Why didn't you bring That's a bottle weird. home? But here's the deal. Give you? He was talking about how funny it was. We were tasting some bourbons, too, and he's like, I think it's crazy how many, like, just, like, everyday bourbons are now collector's commodity getting sold on the secondary market. He's like, I can't believe Insane. that Blanton's is getting picked up and sold. And I, and I told him oh, yeah. that story about those guys that when you went uh, to the liquor store the other day, they picked that. Over, over, yeah, like Scott. The, he, he, oh, thank you for that. More rare. Way. He did confuse yeah. you. You said I, I, I met, like, met twelve. I'm like, I think he does me twelve, but I didn't well, want to correct you. He's in a conversation here. <laughs> I, I know I interrupted. Right. Sorry. <laughs> that's how we roll here. But yeah, it's it's weird that yeah. that that's. It's common now, though. I mean, they they like can't get somebody, anything else, so they go to the next one. At the gathering I went to, somebody picked up a Blanton's instead of. An Al Rye 11, or even 
the um, old Forester's birthday edition. You would have grabbed that in a heartbeat. Latin is like bottom shelf, birthday isn't it? Edition? No, it's not. No, it's not no. bottom shelf. It. But I'm all you, about the old Forester. It's harder to find, but you can uh, find it. It'll be on a shelf somewhere. You might have to for a few a days. Bit. It'll last a couple days, and then somebody will be like, "Oh, I'll take the." The rest of them. <laughs> the rest yes, of them. I need to go watch that uh, video. But, um, I was like, I was amazed I was a- able to get what I got. Hmm. I, I just think it's crazy. Stag Jr. They picked up at Stag Jr. over some of the other harder to find stuff. And I'm like, Robert Freeze, you, can, with you. you can find that. You that can find I think that. it's crazy, man. I, I don't understand it at all, but. So Scott, I just got a Gmail, uh, an email, on my Gmail account from our Gmail account from your Patreon from Scotch Test Dummies. Get your bib for your Tucker Bourbon. What's going on with that? Tucker Bourbon. I don't know. You into Tucker Bourbon? Tucker Bourbon. Tucker Bourbon. I don't know. No Everybody's gonna have to go over there and check that out. I am man. not a bourbon guy. At yeah, all, I'm not so either. I, I leave that one. You. I leave that one to you guys. I um, did order us a bottle for your first review. Oh, did you? nice. Yeah. I like surprises. It's surprises are good. Yeah, surprises are always good. You know, I actually haven't had this too. bourbon in a long time. So. Oh, you're we saying it's a long time. start working on your time, food huh? pairing one. We haven't done that one yet. And people are asking about Man, that. I would love to. i got to get the three of you with me and pick a time and a time because I've got to, like, there's some preparation involved in all of <laughs> yeah. like cooking? You, right. Hey, which, by the like, way, I still got just one of those homemade chicken noodles. Yeah, yeah. upstairs. Yeah, I said we scratched the freaking Yeah. Yeah. Want some guys eat chicken noodles and salsa? I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> chicken noodles and salsa. I forget the salsa. I want the homemade chicken noodle soup, dude. Oh, no, dude. Come on, man. All right, guys. And, right, yeah, right. <laughs> um, uh, so, what else is going on in the wide world here, guys? What, what else? We get, what can we shoot the breeze about before the wheels really come spinning off? And we, you know, I, I'm slowed down because of that Glenn wrote this. It, it just didn't start off. Yeah, this PX thing. cast is working up pretty well. Yeah. This is Bogan's good stuff. Oh, so Bogan's yeah. all right. Bogan's all right. Now, this is kind of my. Yeah. Um, Tire cabin. <laughs> tire, tire cabin. cabin. You know what's like? You know what's like? Wheelhouse. Oh, he said it. All right, wheelhouse. <laughs> Am I the only ones that that's like really you know representing? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh my God, oh, baby, I'm the Scotch one. He, he wasn't you yelling at you. The Cubs just do. What happened to the Cubs? Home run. It's eleventh. Left bottom of the eleventh inning. There was two outs. And John Jay just stole a homer from somebody to run. win the game two to one. Because the Cardinals? Well, it's wow. the Cardinals. That's, that's, that's a pretty good <laughs> Cardinals, man. Like, seriously, <laughs> reached over the wall and got it and brought it back in. <laughs> just now. Watch. <laughs> He'll, just now. Just now. Watch. Oh, no, so the, the Cardinals Watch stole this. it from the Cubs. No, Cubs. So wait, wow. so wait from All right. the Cardinals. Oh, All right, guys. So I want to talk about this for a second. So John, John just mentioned about Sorry, yeah. how Cubs won. Uh, Cubs. He wanted to tell us that he's bringing uh, bottles back to his girlfriend's house. He has 21 bottles now. Now, if I remember correctly, didn't he just start doing the scotch thing like recently? Months uh, ago, maybe. Ago. Yeah. So and now he's like, hook, line, and sinker. Is that I'd right? like to say that's that's that. I'd like to say since part of that stopped because bringing bottles to my so. girlfriend. I think that's right. I Why did you stop? His girlfriend bringing, was on one night and they were talking about Well, that's about where Scott. he hangs out. So that's where John hangs out because he's with his girlfriend. But yeah, that's where you hang out. And if you want to hang out with your girlfriend, oh, drink, you drink, take the bottles to her house. That makes total sense. I don't, yeah, I don't right. see what the problem is. What's going on? So, so John, that's a great collection. Um, if you've got any unique bottles, pour... I thought your girlfriend started drinking them with you. He's, he'd stop. You got little bottles like this you could fill. Send us some unique stuff. That's fine. That's always good to do. We'll do a review on them. Yeah, speaking of that, guys, hopefully everyone's here as a subscriber. Obviously, I think you guys all are. Um, yeah. Make sure that, you know, if, you, if you're willing, patron, right? If you want to. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we haven't touched on it. A book a video, it's like eight bucks a year or eight bucks a month. I mean, it's like. It nothing. helps help support us back here in the, in the bar. And then also, you know, you get, you get some insights from some other things that we do out there. Um, and also, you know, um, be, feel free to uh, email us anything or send us some samples. So yeah, suggestions, not, samples. Yeah. Yep. Words of advice. We could always use some of those, right? I could use yeah. some advice on what I'm drinking next. Yeah, I, that's a good question. You know, I'm not quite sure what what goes with cigars? 
That. Um, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, do, do I need Who to get the BBD? Nobody. Do you have Ugadale? No, I don't, oh. unfortunately. Too bad, because that does go really good. Have log of I do have Logable 16, but... We'll so see. Travis said that George T. Staggs releasing this fall... 40,000 bottles? That's not a limited release. That's a lot of bottles. <laughs> know anything about real estate, Ben? <laughs> well, you said that's a lot. <laughs> I guess if you're McCallan, it's not anything. <laughs> I'm really? sorry, man. You teed that up. I had to. <laughs> Rob, you um, know what? Yours is on the way, brother. <laughs> Good to see you, man. You take care. See you. Yeah. Just this guy will be getting a hold of you soon. I got him a wheel off shirt. Did he get yeah. cool? By the way, Rob, where's my hat? Is it on the way? Ooh. Do you, do you, do you night, direct, night, Rob. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a school there. night. Yeah. He's got to get up and take care of this. I don't blame him, man. Night. It's a school night. He's got a respectable job. I know, right? That's yeah, so do I, but I'm still drinking. All right, guys, we've got nine minutes left. Let's let's bring it back home. Let's okay, do something here. Right, what we got so, going on? All right. It feels like it's So one of the things we, we've discussed yeah, is <laughs> um, expanding outside of just scotch. So we're scotch for dummies. That's what we've always done. We did That's do, what I'm going to do. We did do an English guy. We're going to talk maybe about getting a bourbon or two, but we're hesitant to get in the bourbon market because there's so many other reviewers doing bourbon right now. That and it's ridiculous. So we're looking at some other world whiskeys, and we've got a Japanese on the uh, whiskey on the bar. And one of the um, commenters talked early on about doing Amrut, which is from India, and that's a, that's an option. We haven't we haven't looked at that, um, but we're, we're probably going to Taiwanese not, one. Th there's Kavalan from Taiwan. Taiwan. Taiwan, on? Taiwan on? No, from Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan on. <laughs> and so, so that's the key is. We, we are probably going to work more into the world whiskey market as opposed to the bourbon market because it's kind of saturated right now. Um, we will do bourbons because we have our expert here, but we'll, it won't be yeah, all we'll like a, major. We'll do a few with you, man. Shows with Mike. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait you. Hoagie, can you get a bottle of Vat 69? I've been looking for a bottle of Vat 69 for over a year. I know it's cheap and it probably sucks, but I just want a bottle of it. Yeah. Oh, this is a great question. So if you have a whiskey flask, what would you put in it? Um, what do we put in it? Black. <laughs> Black and monkey shoulder. Yeah, Johnny Black. I got a flask shoulder. sitting in my tackle box back at home that's full of Johnny Walker Black. Good one. So, <laughs> I I the same thing. So every year we do a fishing trip. Yep. Um, you're going this year, right? Yeah, you totally should. Oh, uh, you, yeah, you, you, you fish? So you, you don't have to you, fish. You just you know, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You it's really more about the drinking. But yeah. <laughs> is there tents involved? So, or? No, no, we're, no, dude. No, no. We're too old for that shit. No, no. <laughs> there, there's scotch and steaks and cigars. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But here's awesome the, here's the thing. Uh, so when you're out on the boat, we don't want to bring bottles, so we bring flasks, and we all have several. I've got like three sitting up on the top right there. Or a bottle. Uh, <laughs> we didn't bring bottles. Yeah, right. actually, there was a picture of a bottle. But uh, it's always cheap scotch because you don't want to put good stuff in the flask. It, you know, I mean, you're going to drop it overboard or you got fish hands or something. I don't want to mess around <laughs> with that. So, but that's that's cheap scotch stuff. But you still got to be drinking because you're smoking cigars and it's a long day out on the water. It is a long day out on the water. <laughs> Some days are longer than others. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if it's day two or three and you're halfway in and you still haven't caught a fish... It's time to open the scotch. It's time to kill a <laughs> flask or two. <laughs> yeah. I, I do believe we finished the flask and went straight to the bottle. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, so. We've had a couple of rough days out on the water. Yeah, right? when, when, you, when you have well, a flask... I will say, real foot was not kind to us, so no. but, but it was kind of, the scotch paid for the price in that one. Yeah. So, so yeah. You, you, you put a, a flask of Johnny Walker Black in a cooler so it's cold. And then, and then it just goes Then you can hammer like, it down hard. <laughs> hard. Yeah, did you see the... Johnny Walker. Kato's right. There's that bottle of Blade 69. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've been talking about that. Gosh, yeah, so I, I 15 Kato, euros I for a spend, liter. I, spent, I hate to spend $22 on a scotch that I have to spend $45 from shipping. <laughs> hey, uh, before we, yeah. we're, we're getting ready to end here, guys, but uh, we did do a Facebook post tonight on what you're drinking, so yes. I'm not sure. If we you, did. Yeah, I'm not sure if you've done it yet, but make sure you uh, take a picture of a selfie of your bottle, of yourself, whatever. Um, sometimes we do giveaways Bottle in the best picture, but you know, we'll see what happens. But we'd love to see what? Bottle and self. Bottle and self, yeah. You gotta have self. Go for the 1970s bottle of the VAT 69. I, I, I was actually looking at uh, just, at some of the older bottlings on some of the. Uh, that's what I, I want a bottle on my bar. That's all I to it. I, I feel like they'd probably be uh, old smuggler. 
My uncle swears by old smuggler. Hmm. So we've only huh. got four people have posted. Anything good? Well, there's an old Pulte 17, which I like. Knob Amber. Creek. Yep. Knob Creek. Pig nose, didn't we have Travis? Pig nose? Yes, we did. Really? Pig nose. Bush light? Did we? Bush light? Did we? Schlitz. <laughs> Bush light. <laughs> Who's drinking Bush light? Travis? Ham. What the heck? What? Hey, I'm Travis is drinking a bush light. But wait a minute. Uh, there's, right. there's no pictures. Not, not the only light. people that have oh. put pictures is the Knob Creek. So. Yeah, I know. Everybody is. Oh, Travis wants <laughs> he's a He's a friend of mine. He's <laughs> oh, nice. So we got not some a- Amrut Spectrum. We haven't had any of the Amruts. I mean, admittedly, that's not something we've done, but maybe you need to consider that. Old Smuggler. We're going to have to look for some old, old, old bottles of Old Smuggler, yeah. apparently. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to get a bottle of Vat 69 just because I want to try it. Well, we've got uh, at least two uh, fun reviews coming up, and we've got Whiskey Expo hey, two weeks from tomorrow. Okay. Well, there you go, Hoagie. Yeah. What's that? What, what? How much for a bottle of that 62 Vat 69 at your local shop? And you should have good deals there. You're like a local, right? You're hey, a you guys have, have scotch in your glass. Hook a brother up. Um, the PX gas, baby. Okay. T- whiskey Dick's drinking beer tonight, too, so... It's all good, man. No, 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 not, not. I Put was talking about you, Travis Faircloth. There's another Travis I'm friends with who's messing with me on the what you're drinking tonight. We'll feed the whiskey um, fabric. Put it on Facebook. Whiskey oh, hashtag whiskey fabric. Yep. Yes, hashtag whiskey fabric. What else we got going on, guys? Check out the other channels in the whiskey fabric from Whiskey in the Six, Whiskey Dick, Scotch Test Dummies, Bob in the Beard, Bob in the Beard, Trendy and C. Yep. Um, Malted Montreal. 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 Go check them all Whiskey out, guys. Whistle, all I mean, guys. You're probably already checking them out. We got out, some shirts coming out pretty soon with all that. We got some That's marketing coming awesome. out. So, I mean, it's a pretty big movement we got going on with the whiskey fabric. Squeeze the bees. So. Squeeze the bees. Squeeze the bees coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm sorry. I'm That's the bottle. Wheels have uh, officially Can I take come. that bottle right now and try it? No. Absolutely. Right, so there we go. So, Cheers, please. everybody. Hey, guys. It's good chatting with you, everybody, tonight. Um, see you next Thursday. We, I yep. think we, do we, we have are, one more review, one more live, and then we're at yeah, one more and then live. Our expo. The week of the expo, we will not be having a live Thursday night show mm-hmm. because we'll be doing the expo that Friday, that following day, right? Also, yep. we talked about having uh, a live show with um, your buddy from... Yeah, so uh, I'm trying to get the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society... Uh, I'm mm. not sure what his uh, t- director title is, but um, he's in charge of uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society in, of America, of US, and he's in New York. We've reviewed our bottles, our Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottles. We haven't published them yet. They were really, no, really good. They were <laughs> really, outstanding. they were outstanding. They're amazing. But we wanted to wait to publish them until we could get him live on the channel, so that maybe he could share some uh, information about the society. He's kind of tied up for the next week or two. Then we've got the expo, so not sure how that's going to pan out. Maybe we have him on the expo or something, but keep an eye out for that. We'll have him on regardless if he can't come on when we publish him. We'll be uh, here anyway. Yeah, we'll be here, and uh, and we'll be talking about a couple bottles from the society. So, anyway, guys. That's it. Roger that. Thanks Cheers. for joining, everybody. Cheers. Launch him. Good seeing you guys. See you guys. Wheelhouse. Thanks for watching. Ooh, how Wheelhouse. about that? How about mm-hmm. Cubbies? Go right. Cubbies. Go Cubbies. <laughs> Go Cubbies. <laughs> All right, we're still live. Not yet. Mm. Well, we're still Damn. live. I haven't turned it off yet, so hold on. Roger that, AC Delco. There's <laughs> more coming in. Slash Lee. See you, Lee. Lee. Good luck in your Mark. bottle. Have a good time. Later, Scott. Yep.